Apple and Google are two of the biggest names in technology, and they both have their own smartwatch offerings. But which one is better? In this video, we're going to be comparing two of the newest smartwatches on the market, the Apple Watch Ultra and the Google Pixel Watch. Both of these watches are really good, but they have some key differences that you need to know about before you make your purchase. So stay tuned, and we'll break it down for you. Price Points and Availability We've been hearing reports that the Pixel Watch is finally coming, and with an expected price tag of between $300 and $400. This source comes from one claiming to have seen an early version of the device themselves at a pricing audition. There's also word on its availability in two sizes, as well as four different watch band options. Not just metal ones like other watches do, which could mean good things if your style requires more customization options. At this time, it's unclear whether or not the new Pixel Watch will come with an LTE version. Google is finally showing off its own Wear OS watch, despite other manufacturers making their version of this device. They wanted to show how it's done properly with quality materials that match what Google stands for, as well as offering customization options among many other things. The eagerly awaited Google Pixel Watch will be revealed on October 6th, and people's expectations are high, even though leaks reveal a simpler package. A new teaser video gives us an even closer look at the design. Google aims to meet user expectations of these features at launch. The much-anticipated Apple Watch Ultra is finally out, and it's easily one of the best smartwatches available. It's a response to the growing power of the premium fitness watch segment which Garmin watches were starting to dominate. This was a watch Apple had to make, although it says it's been years in the making. The all-new Apple Watch has started to be available for pre-order in the US, Canada, Australia, France, Germany, India, Japan, and the UK, with pricing set at $799 or £849 or 1,229 Australian dollars. Google's wearable could be something of a mid-range device rather than a high-end one, which could mean that it won't be as widely available as the Apple Watch line. However, we're not sure of that yet. Features The Google Pixel Watch will have access to Fitbit's ecosystem of apps and algorithms when it comes out in the fall giving users a wide range of tools for fitness tracking. For example, Active Zone Minutes, which calculate your weekly goals based on how many minutes you've been active each day, step counts from any type worn, like sneakers or wearables that register movement, can be synced with this watch too. With continuous heart rate monitoring and sleep tracking, Fitbit is making its way over to the world of fitness with a more forgiving system that understands how hard it can be on certain days when you only have 30 minutes for an intense workout. With the Pixel Watch, you'll be able to track your workouts and sleep patterns with Google Fitbit-like features. However, we're curious if this device can rival Apple's fitness tracker on their watches as well. The SPO2 sensor for your heart rate, ECG monitor among other tools like fall detection, noise alerts, period tracking, and an altimeter are all available in one package through Apple's wearable tech lineup. With the Google Pixel Watch powered by Fitbit technology, it makes a great choice for fans of health and fitness. With features like sleep tracking, heart rate monitoring, personalized fitness goals, and more, this smartwatch is perfect for those who want to stay on top of their health. However, we're not sure yet if the Pixel Watch has ECG functionality, but it's likely to have a lot of other fitness features. The Apple Watch 8 and Ultra both offer ECG, which is a great feature for tracking your heart health. In addition to ECG, both watches also have GPS, a heart rate monitor, and sleep tracking. This makes them perfect for tracking your fitness and overall health. 
The Apple Watch Ultra is perfect for divers because it has a depth sensor which can help them track their progress underwater. The Apple Watch SE2 is a little less adept than the newer models, but it still has the basics covered, including GPS and heart rate monitoring. So if you're on a budget or don't need all the bells and whistles, this could be a good option for you. But the Apple Watch Ultra? What makes it so special? The Ultra model of the Apple Watch stands out from the other two models due to its action button, a customizable hardware shortcut. But aside from that, all three of these Apple Watch models have car crash detection, which is a potentially life-saving feature. We can't be sure what features the Pixel Watch will have yet, but we can expect that it will be a powerful device. It's doubtful that the watch will have comparable features in this area, but we can still hope. Design Google has shown us what the Pixel Watch will look like. It has a circular screen, a domed design, a proprietary strap, and a recycled stainless steel build. The Google Pixel Watch is set to come with a digital crown and a physical button on the side, as well as a choice of black, silver, or gold case, and an obsidian, hazel, chalk, or charcoal band. Though its minimalistic style may seem like something that could compare to most fashion-forward smartwatches out right now, there should be some pretty good-looking pieces among them regardless if you're after function over form though both matter. Unlike the sleek and slim Pixel Watch, the Apple Watch comes in multiple sizes and with a vast array of first and third-party strap options, making it more customizable than we're expecting the Pixel Watch to be. And if you're looking for a chunky, rugged option, the Apple Watch Ultra has got you covered. Battery Life the Google Pixel Watch's battery life will be similar to that of the other watches, with regular use maxing out at about two days. With heavy usage, like constantly checking social media, we can only assume this time may vary slightly depending on individual strain levels in each person's makeup. Though other sources say 300 mAh capacity means it should last as long or more than Samsung's current Galaxy watches. Rumors are swirling that the next Google Pixel phone could come with some pretty impressive features, including 32 gigabytes of storage and 1 gigabyte of RAM, both Wi-Fi and cellular versions, and on-device processing for Google Assistant, plus there's talk of a power management feature that would allow the assistant to listen for voice commands without draining the battery. As for the Apple Watch line, these watches are rumored to have powerful performance thanks to their Apple S8 chipset. They will also have 32 gigabytes of storage and one gigabyte of RAM. This is similar to what we might see from the Pixel Watch. Although the battery capacities of the Google Pixel Watch and the Apple Watch SE might be largely similar, with the Pixel Watch rumored to include a 300 mAh cell, while the Apple Watch SE 2 has a 296 mAh battery, the Apple Watch 8 has a 308 mAh power source. The Apple Watch Ultra also has a much bigger battery at 542 mAh. So, it's likely that the Apple Watch Ultra will outlast the Pixel Watch. Software The Google Pixel Watch is a first-party hardware device with its own bespoke Wear OS 3 software, which until now has only been seen on Samsung's Galaxy Watch 4 model. The newly upgraded Wear OS by Google is a bespoke operating system designed just for the Pixel Watch. The new software will have an exclusive interface that can't be found on any other device, hinting at top priority treatment from its developers and manufacturers alike. When it comes to software, most people know that Google is making use of its own apps, such as Assistant and Maps. However, there isn't much information on how exactly this UI operates yet, but we expect them to fill in any gaps fairly soon. As for the Apple Watch Ultra, Watch OS 9 is the current version of the operating system that it runs on. 
Apple's Watch OS 9 update features design improvements, new watch faces, and new apps, with a particular focus on updated health and fitness capabilities. This makes the Apple Watch an even more indispensable tool for staying healthy and active. With Watch OS 9, you'll have even more ways to track your progress and stay motivated. Apple has released three beta versions of Watch OS 9.1 to developers, with the most recent including support for the new Apple Watch Ultra. This update includes performance enhancements and bug fixes. The biggest difference between the Pixel Watch and the Apple Watch is their operating systems. The Pixel Watch runs Wear OS, while the Apple Watch line runs Watch OS 9. They both have largely similar functionality, but the look, layout, available apps, and certain features, such as complications on the Apple Watch, differ. There's no clear winner when it comes to Wear OS watches. It's a very subjective thing and it remains to be seen what the Pixel Watch's take on Wear OS will look like. Verdict The recently leaked Google Pixel Watch may have some serious competition in the form of Apple's new wearable, with so much still shrouded about this supposed prospective device, it's impossible to paint an accurate comparison against Apple's Ultra. But from what little information there has been available, with the Google Pixel Watch recently announced, it's shaping up to be the ultimate accessory for Android phones. This can also serve as a great way to see what else Google might have in store for smartwatch users. There seems to be no doubt that these two companies will continue innovating, bringing us one step closer to having full, wear-enabled devices. So, which is the best smartwatch? Well, that depends on what you need. If you're an iPhone user and want a watch that integrates well with your phone, then the Apple Watch Ultra is probably the better option for you. But if you're looking for more features and are willing to switch to Android, then the Google Pixel Watch is a great choice and more affordable too. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide which one best fits your needs. Thanks for watching! Like and subscribe for more tech news, tips, and tricks.